Hey guys, I'm Rhizome Civilization, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the steel lift hill truss in many hybrid coasters. So the steel lift hill truss is a truss that looks really cool when coasters pass under it, and it is used for reinforcement as well as not making it so that's just a confusing jumble of wooden supports. Like take my iron jack, which I built twice over here. The first one over here, that was when I still had the wooden supports for everything, and boy, that's a mess. Then I built the steel supports using the method, and boy, I mean, that actually looks quite nice. I mean, you could find it in real life too, on Iron Gwazi and Wildcat's Revenge from what I know. There's probably a little more, but those are all I know. So let's get started. How do we even build them? So it's kind of easy. I just use the Starloop coasters that are in the game, the Starloop power up ones. Say, for example, I'm just going to build a random arm C lift hill. And then you need to measure its length. That's really important. So this is 39.37 feet. Or you could do it with the meters. That's fine too. I just use feet because that's my ordinary measurement and then if your lift hill is higher that's good but if your lift hill is lower then you will have to maybe disable collisions or move the whole coaster higher and then afterwards you can select the whole thing and move it lower but anyway that's not very important right now we'll do that later so let's do the star loop part the fun part of the coaster where all the action takes place so take the star loop and place it approximately right just below where the arm sees track is and then select the number two st standard track actually that's a little high bit lower that should do and type two we need to make sure that yeah the, that's 39.37 that's just right and then let's build it up to this height and then afterwards, all I have to do is just duplicate this a couple more times. Of course, you can't duplicate rides in Planet Coaster, but what you can do is keep doing them, building them. So now that means that because our left side supports have officially disappeared, now let me try to profile the drop and use the same lift hill supports onto the drop. So that is a nice looking drop there. However, it's going to get replaced with this. I mean, the, the structure is going to get replaced with this for quite a while down. But now I don't have an 80 degree. It's okay though. <laughs> no problem. That's quite a nice looking lift hill. <laughs> So now the one thing I have to do is just remove the station. And now we're finished with the first part. Now the second part, which is just the other side. And you could repeat this process without even me being the, your instructor because it's an incredibly easy process to follow. In fact, I only did that while studying a couple of blueprints. Which I know is kind of funny. But that's exactly how I studied how to make these supports. And now that is done. So all I have to do now is just disable the supports of, of everything else. So now all I have to do is just remove this station as well and move this track a little. So that it actually fits in. Yeah, that is a pretty decent looking lift hill. But wait, the colors are different. And this thing also has track supports as well. So what we want to do is select the whole thing. And then take away the supports, blah, blah, blah. But wait, 
you now you have pretty much a floating thing. What are you gonna do about that? Well, simple. Just add more supports in the form of star loops. I'm getting so annoyed. Can you stop the repeating process? It's really terrifying. For some reason, that one looks a little off. And I think I probably know why. So now that with this, let's reprofile the track. There we go. Just right. <laughs> so now let's place another one of these. Blah, blah, blah. Now let's just follow the shadow. To approximately that point for me. What? I can't make this any shorter. Bruh. Then 26.25. Wow, that's the shortest this thing can go? Yipes. Wait, have I disabled track limits? I think I just want to disable track limits. That should help me. Just, just realized I've forgotten that. There we go. A more customized length. And all I have to do is just remove the traffic, the station. And now let's get this actual thing finished. All right now we removed this thing's track supports as well. And now we just place one last one for the supports. <laughs> Maybe you might need more, like you might need an extra truss or something like that. I could help you with that too, but just don't rely on me for everything. But, yeah. Who doesn't like one of these? Unless they're not an RMC fan. What to say, being such a big RMC fan, despite only having ridden a raptor from them, Gotta say, I wanna ride more, much more. Steel Vengeance is one of my top picks. So anyways, now all I have to do is finish the coloring. <laughs> so I just do a gray, so I just do a gray from halfway right here, and then gray, black, gray, black. Yeah, that's my normal coloration for this thing. You could do it all gray like this. Like, I think that looks better to be honest with you. And now, tour these guys. Just perfect. And of course, my works aren't actually perfect, but gotta say, I'm even impressed with myself. Who doesn't like one of these? So anyway, that should conclude our video if you guys want any more tricks for me to share about any coasters then i could share them and of course there's one thing i forget on pretty much every one of these to add the concrete slab I mean, I know this doesn't look like a concrete slab, but whatever. I don't really care, but maybe you guys could show me how to actually build a concrete slab. Actually, never mind. I, I'm pretty sure I know how to do it. And I know what concrete looks like, so... Oops, wrong.
Wait, that looks quite good. Yeah, I'm tearing this out so I could get some better stuff in here. Yeah, I'm pretty much done with this thing. That looks nice. Yeah. Some amazing looking concrete slabs to finish off the coaster. Pleasant. Pleasant. Pleasant! So let's conclude with this video with all this. And please hit a like and subscribe and comment down what you want me to do next. For... One of these. I'll remember to do it. I'll trust. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Which is probably my 60 coasters video. Bye.